this brings us to our third body shape. And for those of us that follow Taylor, this is the new big boy. This is the bad boy on the block right now. This is the Grand Pacific. So the Grand Pacific is a new body shape for us. We can, we'll just call it our dreadnought. We can do that, it's okay. So it's a soft shoulder dreadnought. It's a whole new design. This guitar is a whole different sound that Taylor has never had before. Here it is. I love this guitar. It's my next guitar, for sure. I haven't told my wife yet, though, but it will be my next guitar. I've been doing Taylor Road shows or working for these guys for about six, seven years, and I've been loving it since day one. But I always like old, you know, older music. I'm a big fan of James Taylor. A big fan of James Taylor. And he played an old J45 on his older recordings. And that song. You know that song, right? You know that chord after that? The D over G? I love that chord. All right? That chord. When I first played that chord on a Grand Pacific. Got 717. It was like somewhere in Toronto or something in a hotel room. It. I was like, I had to like stop everything, you know, around me. I'm like, what was that? Wait a second. <laughs> this can't be right. It's a Taylor. Why does this sound like an old recording, Drenna? So since like that next hour, I was playing the same riff over and over and over again, and waiting for that that moment of that hair standing up moment of this. And since then, I just fell in love with this uh, particular model. So, like, James, you know, I was saying, James Taylor was playing probably a J45 in front of a whatever nice condenser mic into some uh, outboard gear compressor and uh, EQ into a board, uh, some analog board into a two-inch tape. So that J45 didn't really sound like that in person. It sounded like that in the record because it was going through all that analog sauce, so to speak, right? So this kind of has like that post, uh, post-production sound when you record a dreadnought or any acoustic guitar that matters. It's got a built-in compressor and EQ inside of this. So any of those classic riffs. that sound, that nice little top roll off, but got that nice warm, it doesn't have that high end zingy like 3k pop or that ting tinginess, no matter how hard, hard I play, it sounds really warm. So. And it's a V class, you could play anywhere up high and still has that fullness on each note, so you could solo over it, play single note lines, or what have you. Yeah, I can't really stress enough, stress this. It's like a big, is it, even though it's a newest guitar, that we, newest model that we make, it's the oldest sounding guitar, in my opinion. Right, yeah, Very exactly. Very fantastic guitar.